Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner session with me. So bestie, in this video, we will be planning out the week of May 13th through the 19th in my Horizontal Happy Planner. And I'll be using the Shins Core sticker book that released from the spring. Y'all, this is a beauty. So I'm excited to get it in my planner. So if you want to see what I create, stay tuned. <music> Okay, Bestie, so here's my horizontal layout, and here's the Shins Core sticker book. Y'all, it's a beautiful sticker book. It's very soft and just calming colors, but the Shins Core pattern, the vintage look of it, I'm just loving. And so I thought I would pair it with some gold foil boxes, and this is actually the Essential Boxes sticker book they released from the spring. And I also pulled a few from my Colorful Boxes Mega, y'all, that I've been just reaching for a lot lately, okay? So here's what I have pulled once again <laughs> typically it's been kind of like my theme this whole year i don't have a real rhyme or reason of how i want to plan out this spread y'all so we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens okay so typically though i really love clusters and y'all this week is a very big week for me um i can't wait to be able to share more details with y'all but it's a big week y'all and i want a lot of room to write okay so because i'm gonna be doing a lot of prepping this week and everything so i'm just trying to see what i want so i did decide though to use these florals and these these florals are cut out so weird in this sticker book i'm not even gonna hold y'all i couldn't figure it out um and i feel like some of mine just weren't cut out in a way but maybe they were and i just missed it but I couldn't figure out where all the florals were on that backing of that page, but I was able to pull some of them. And I feel like I have enough to make it, you know, pop on the spread. So that's going to be my decor, like the pieces that I'm going to go for right now. But my main thing is I do know I want a lot of things to, I want a lot of spaces to write. So typically when I want a more functional spread i go with a lot of boxes because the boxes do add a decor element in a way with the clusters but it still gives me all of the writing room that i desire okay and this week like i said i will be doing a lot of prepping for some big things that are happening and that's coming up and so i know i want space to write these things down and really get organized this week and stay on top of my game so that's what we're going with okay so i started out with the gold foil boxes and i'm thinking i wanted to do like a horizontal versus vertical aspect in my with my clusters so that's kind of the idea i started jumping off with so that's why i'm laying these down in a horizontal way now the sticker book did have these outline floral boxes these boxes that are outlined in florals i should say that i said this so backwards y'all so they um i thought that they would be pretty to add in um to give me that vintage feel so we're gonna lay this one in a horizontal way versus vertical and see how that turns out i'm gonna put it on wednesday and then let's add another one and let's put it on saturday i feel like that'll be a good spot for it and so i'm trying to decide if i want it more towards the middle or if i want to actually connect it to the box on sunday some kind of way with another element or like decorative piece possibly functional or decorative and so here's what I was thinking. Well, I did pull these this extra long one. So do I want to like layer in some long boxes with it? Or is it like team too much? You know, like I said, y'all, we're just figuring it out as we go. And one of my biggest tips though, sometimes this is what you need to do when you are planning because it requires you to think out of the box a little bit. So when you're in the flow of things um always just challenge yourself and your creativity just try out different things and even if it might not be your typical way of doing it try it out because you never know what might pop up and surprise you okay some of my more you know challenging spreads that at least i thought they were challenging i ended up really liking them because i tried something different um, I went outside of the box and out of the box meaning my typical norm so 
I always suggest that, especially when you're trying to find your style. Now, for me, y'all, I pretty much, I'm a creature of habit and I know like my style. Honestly, it's a lot of balance. It's a lot of function. And then I like to make my after the pins really make my spread come to life. I like to like have a true before and then a true after. So that's become like my jam lately. However, I do like to kind of break out the mold sometimes. So I always encourage, you know, all of my besties to do the same because you just never know. And then too, your style evolves over time too. Because y'all, when I first started planning, I wasn't planning like this. I was planning in a more, I feel like it was more minimalistic. Now I'm definitely living on the max side of things when it comes to my creativity and so i think it's just because i realized i really like a full spread and so it's just evolved into that so but i try to keep it neat and i think that's why i lean towards balance a lot so as you can see i balance this spread out already with my pretty much i like to call it anchoring the spread you know because it's like the foundation getting the main boxes down and then I can go in and add a bunch of layers and that gives it differentiation. Is that the right word that I'm trying to say? It gives it it gives it dimension. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Like, you know, my layers might look different on top of my foundation that's balanced across the spread. That's just become my jam. And even though y'all I started out doing something a little bit different in this, I'm still leaning on my tried and true what I know works for me. And here we're just putting in a lot of boxes, y'all. I did add in those florals. I feel like those florals are so bold, y'all, in this spread. And they kind of overpower the outline florals, but I don't know, maybe I like that little bit of delicacy in the mix too with the boldness. So maybe it's a thing we're just gonna keep rolling with it okay so i did add me a couple of boxes to tuesday and then definitely some for sunday in the note section which i use my note section a lot of times y'all as an extension of the weekend so you know it can be well sometimes i use it as a, an extension for the entire week like to do's that i don't necessarily have a thing like a specific date or deadline for i like to put them in the note section but this week we're using it as an extension to the weekend okay so i am adding in my bullet points so we're going to add some to monday and wednesday and then i'm thinking saturday in the note section um just to kind of like switch it up a little bit and not have them right across from each other um saturday could use another box as well but i could just write it in in my checklist like the task that i'm thinking that i know i have to write in because we typically have like a morning meeting on saturday like a training session um so i know i needed another box for that as well um but it's okay i'll figure out where i want to put it in my after the pm okay so y'all honestly the spread and what i was talking about earlier about me being like a minimalistic planner i would have probably stopped here back in the day okay but the kenya today the creative that i am today it's like no let's add more what else can we find to add to this spread okay that's not gonna overwhelm it because i don't like doing that you know, I don't like to clutter it too much because like I said, I like the after to look like a true after. However, I still want to add some more things. Okay, so here's where I like the little skinny boxes and like all of the um, like little smaller quotes and decorative items. Things that I can just add in little pieces here and there because see, it's not too big that it's going to take away from what I already have. But it's going to definitely, like I said earlier, add some dimension, okay? Those layers and just that depth and then adding in more of that color. I just feel like it always brings the element of creativity out a little bit more because it it makes, it diversifies the spread. Why am I using all these big words in this planner, sis? Y'all, what am I on? <laughs> What am I on? I, I may still be in work mode. Like, diversify is definitely a finance term. <laughs> so, don't mind me, y'all. Don't mind me. 
but let's continue playing it okay i saw these big weekend stickers and i was like i want to use one and i feel like i don't i neglect these stickers do y'all neglect the weekend stickers now i remember back in the day y'all we and i say back in the day like we that old like Girl, it wasn't, well, it was, it's been a minute, okay? It's been a minute since I used the weekend banner type situation. But I remember that was like the, the thing. Like, it was definitely a style I saw a lot of planners use. And I feel like nowadays, I don't see as many weekend banners, you know? Maybe the weekend ain't giving weekend because we all out here grinding. That might be <laughs> the case, you know? I don't know. But a lot of people... I don't see a lot of that in a lot of spreads nowadays. Okay, so I did what I was intrigued by this washi. And there's two different kinds in this book. There's actually a paper version and this transparent version. However, I went for the transparent just because I feel like it's, I don't know, the colors are a little bit deeper on the transparent paper. So I wanted that little pop. And then I came to these quotes because I was like, I got the weekend sticker. What else can I put on the spread as far as a quote? You know, to give the spread some meaning. You know, I've been really into storytelling with my spreads. This one has a story, but I can't give y'all the story just yet. Okay, but it definitely has a story and there's a reason behind why I'm using these stickers and why it's significant to this week. However, y'all have to stay tuned to find all of that out. Okay, but I'll share at some point when I know that I can share. Okay, so y'all fast forward. We're just looking for more quotes and I'm just skimming through the book. Y'all I found these uh, square ones and you know when i think about it when i think about how this book is designed um it looks like it would be designed for like a dashboard but it's definitely i'm not even gonna hold y'all it's giving horizontal to me too because you know how they came out with that horizontal sticker book back in the i keep saying back in the day well it was a couple it was a few years ago i think there was a horizontal layout sticker book and a lot of those stickers were very much so like longer in formation um like in design i should say so i don't know maybe that's what this book is reminding me of and the square definitely fits in the horizontal days in case you're not like me and you like to actually stay in the lines I haven't planned inside of the lines, y'all, in so long. Do y'all plan inside of the lines? Like, inside of the days? Or do y'all like to overlap the days? Like I do. <laughs> like I do every week, week in and week out, week out. But I always know what's Monday. I always know what's Tuesday. And so forth and so on. So, I just feel like it adds to the spread. Like... It ain't so just streamlined, you know, even though y'all, like I said, I have my anchor, you know, but I think it's a balance of having some of that, but plus a lot of the other little elements that dif that makes it different. Okay. So I'm really trying to find out where I want to put another quote y'all because these little square ones, I don't know. I feel like they're not working. The oval circular one those aren't really working either i feel like for the spread and y'all my tried and true wax paper okay use some wax paper to see where you want to put a sticker down and it helps you you know make that decision before you just have to fully commit and so here i was like yep i'm i've decided i'm gonna trim this or trim around this quote and use this as a smaller quote so here's a great example, y'all, of making your stickers work for you. I always suggest that as well. Like you do not have to use the sticker as it came in the sticker book. Allow your creativity to help you, you know, utilize your stickers in the best way for the spread you're creating. So for me, I felt like all of the extra around that quote was going to take away from what I had going on. And y'all, the camera cut out. So I apologize. But as you can see, I added those cutouts to Monday and the Sunday um, clusters. So now I'm going in with those um, washi tape strips that I pulled from the book. And I'm going to add them to the page. And I'm just trying to see where I want to put them. I really like that where it's at on Tuesday. That doesn't bother me. But I couldn't find a spot on the right side of the spread where it made sense to me. It wouldn't look so cluttered 
to all of the things I got going on. And y'all, sometimes I do be feeling like my spreads can kind of be a little bit, you know, heavier on one side than the other. Like for me right now, I feel like the right side is heavier in boxes. And it just could have been how I laid them out. Like how they look almost lined up in a way. So that could be the reason why versus the left side looks a little bit more spread out. I don't know. And y'all, this may be way too deep for a whole planner spread, but I be analyzing my creativity because, you know, your girl trying to improve and grow and, you know, test out things. It's just really fun for me. So I enjoy it. Do y'all do that? Do y'all figure out like stuff like this? Plus, y'all know I was like a science girl. Um, I majored in science. And so my brain sometimes can be very analytical. OK. Okay, so let's flip through the sticker book and see what else I can find. I also added that weekend sticker to the page too. I didn't say that, but the camera did cut off. So y'all missed a little bit of it, but not too, too much. Okay, so then I saw these. I don't know how I missed these in the sticker book, but I like that they were some smaller quotes. So I'm going to see if I can add some of these to the page too. Just to, you know, add in more of, the, more of that layering effect that I love. And I'm just trying to find different spots for it. Something that makes sense that, you know, kind of goes. Like, I feel like that looks good right there. You know, like it offsets the quote that I have on Monday. So I was like, okay, I can definitely pull another one. So let me pull this one. And I'm going to add it to this little, this box on Saturday. So it's in a different placement than the other one, but it still gives it that balanced look. Okay, so I like that. Okay, so now let's see what else. We're almost done, y'all. I added those strips to the top. So I'm going to actually see if I want to complete that across. Um, I, I set them there. I say set, but I placed them there to see if I would like it, um, if it would overwhelm the spread too much. And I feel like it looks fine. So we're going to go with it. And there's two different options in the sticker book. You have the gold uh, version and then you also have like this peachy pink color um flower version and i went with the peaky peach colors just because i don't know it's the first one i picked up and they both would have went well so it didn't matter and i didn't want to mix them for some reason so i think because it's such a long strip of the same floral that i was just like yeah we're just gonna keep it going and so here y'all literally trying to line it up straight trying to make it seamless so you know at initial glance anyway you wouldn't be able to tell if it's not it's not one long strip so i think about that stuff y'all i'll be thinking about the small details and honestly if i could be very transparent with y'all i really feel like the details is what make a great spread any type of like little detail that you can add to the spread like whether if it's doodling or making sure that you line things up you know to where they look seamless or whatever i feel like that always elevates it to the next level and just brings out more it helps you get more into that creativity zone of you know actually creating the spreads that are you know more neater and just cleaner so i love it okay so y'all i'm gonna stop here because i feel like i got a good basis for the spread so i'm ready to write in it which is what i wanted i wanted a lot of boxes this week and this shit's core sticker book is just so pretty so i want to thank you so much for watching bestie thank you for just listening to my chit chat and just for being so sweet and so kind please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with someone that you think will find this useful and let me know do you have this sticker book in your collection i would love to hear from you all right until next time i love you bestie. Bye!